Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I just finished packing for a week-long trip to Okinawa, Japan and Busan, Korea and I'm so excited. I'm flying out in a few hours. It's been a while since I've been to Asia in the summer and honestly I actively avoid it because it is so hot there. So hot and humid and you eat a lot so you feel really sticky and bloated and sweaty. But it's the middle of July and I am going to Asia. I feel like I've been seeing so much about a hot girl European summer and that whole aesthetic on social media, but how about we make it a hot girl Asian summer? Because I feel like that's a vibe too. Beaches, beer, good food, honestly the food. I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. So a lot of the things that I packed are very thin, breathable, and I will feel very comfortable in it even if I overeat, which likely will be the case every day. I'm bringing my carry-on and let's dive right in so I can show you what I'm bringing. So I'm gonna start with clothes first. I love that my carry-on is not overpacked because everything that I brought is very thin, very little material because again, it's gonna be so hot there. All my clothes are in this big packing cube here. So I think I'm gonna start with swimwear because it's at the top of my packing cube. I'm bringing three swimsuits and honestly, I know I'm gonna be like eating and I'm gonna be kind of bloated and I don't feel the best in a bikini right now, just being 100% truthful. So they're all one pieces. Also, the thing about Asia is that Yes, there are people that wear bikinis, but it is still a little bit more conservative dressing in East Asia, especially at beaches. Like some people just wear their regular clothes in there and a lot of people try to avoid sun exposure too. So they wear like rash guards and I just, I just don't feel like standing out. You know, I just don't. So I'm just gonna wear one pieces and this one is a uh, one that I just got from Madewell. I got it on sale and it is super cute. It's like this navy, marigold one piece then i have this white ribbed one piece as well this one's cute too very plain i'm gonna wear this likely in okinawa uh, when i do some snorkeling or when i'm in the water because it is very very like secure and i feel very comfortable in it and then lastly i got this one piece strapless swimsuit and i really like the color it also fits very well. Next, I've got some shorts. So I'm bringing this one. It's a pair from Madewell. It's kind of this charcoal color. Really easy, comfortable, a little high-waisted. Then my favorite shorts of all time. These ones are by Sweaty Betty. Um, I believe it's like a fitness active wear brand, but it's these white shorts that are so comfortable, high-waisted, not really too sheer, um, as long as I wear some nude undergarments. Love these. One last pair of shorts. I got these purple ones. They're really cute. It's kind of a pop of color. Um, you can just wear like a neutral top with this. There are so many things that you can wear with it, but I will likely wear a neutral top with it. And it's also just a very thin, kind of nylon name material as well. More bottoms. I have a, a skirt. I've worn this many times. It is a white eyelet skirt. Very flowy, very summery. One last skirt. Okay, this skirt, you guys, is so pretty. I actually got it in Malaysia and I've never gotten around to wearing it. But this is perfect, it's so cute. It's like a wraparound skirt and it just has these neon like hibiscus flowers. I feel like it's really unique. It's cotton or linen, I'm really bad with materials. It's just so pretty. It's gonna be very fitting for Okinawa because people say that Okinawa is like the Hawaii of Japan. So this will be perfect. I'm wearing two dresses. This one is a vintage dress that I've had for a while and I love it. It's a pink midi dress with these really pretty flowers on them and it's a really comfortable material. There's even a little bit of like an extra layer where the chest is so I might not even have to wear a bra but I feel really good in this all the time. I think this will be really easy to slip on and slip off, especially because it's so hot and humid and I don't want my dresses to be clinging on me in any way. The other dress that I got is also something that's really perfect for that hot and humid weather. I just got this, it's from Free People. It's a tube mini dress and it's really simple. It's black, it's short, it's also got 
pockets, I believe. Mm, yes, it does have pockets. And I've heard that this drop waist design is very in right now. Okay, moving on to tops. All of my tops, I'll show you guys what they look like. Very neutral, honestly, because I don't know, I, I'd rather like wear really simple things than accessorize. This is a tie-dye cami. I got it from ASOS. It's really cute, really light, so thin to pack, and very summery. Next, I've got this uh, like a navy gray cami. Also really pretty. I feel like this pairs really well with white, but honestly, you can pair it with anything. And I feel like this color is a little unique and it goes well with silver jewelry. Next, I've got this white tank. Very simple, it's cropped. I've got my favorite thing to bring, honestly, anywhere. <laughs> I'm wearing this all summer. It's my black tube top, such a staple. And then I've also got my staple black cropped tank as well. I've also got this really cute black cami. This one, I love the little scalloped detail where the strap is and it's even got a cute little bow in the front chest area. And then I also have this tank from And Other Stories. This is really comfortable, really good material. It's pretty thick. This nice neutral brown color. And then I've got this top that I've worn before to Asia and doesn't really look like much here, but it is a backless top and it ties in the back. This is literally the thinnest thing you could ever bring. Look at how thin. Okay, last top here. This is a little bit more dressy. It is this crochet halter top. I think it's so pretty. I can wear this at night if I go to dinner um, or just if I wanna look a little bit dressier. And because it is very holy, I wear a banjo underneath it. So on this trip, because I know it's gonna be super hot and humid, I've decided that I'm going to wear sports bras for the most part because their purpose is to pretty much like absorb sweat and make you feel really comfortable. So I got this one by Beyond Yoga that fits really well, the material's super soft, and then this green one. And honestly, I feel like it's better than wearing a bra if whatever you're wearing that day allows you to because it's just gonna be comfortable and I know I sweat a lot. Ooh, and the outfit I'm gonna wear on the plane, as soon as we arrive in Okinawa, it's actually gonna be like 9.30 a.m. So we're going to be out exploring already, just pretty much like right when we land. So I kind of thought about the outfit that I will be wearing on the plane because it's also going to be the outfit that I'm wearing on my first day. It's gonna be this t-shirt that has this cool neon graphic on it, really comfortable. And then I'm gonna wear my favorite Muji linen pants in this kind of gray color. I've worn it many times. I feel so good in it and I'm gonna wear this too quite a bit with some of these neutral tops and just kind of alternate and make different outfits. Moving on to accessories, I'm bringing three bags. So I'm bringing this Uniqlo one. It's a neutral half moon bag. I'm bringing my Bagu, which is this pop of color, a uh, green bag, olive, lime green. Love it, it's big, you can fit all my camera equipment and whatnot. And then my favorite trusted black bag. All of these, as you can see, I have a preference for packable, um, kind of sling style bags. And then I'm bringing two hats. I'm bringing this really cute green crochet one. I actually haven't worn this in a while and I just love it, it's so cute. And then I'm bringing this new Ghani hat that I just got. I like that it has this uh, tie here. So it's kind of in this black color and it'll be good because I'm sure the sun will be very, very harsh. So it'll be good at the beach. As for shoes, I am bringing four pairs of shoes. I know that sounds like a lot, but really isn't because two of them are flip flops. First pair that I am bringing are these red Birkenstock slides that have not made an appearance in my life much for the last few years, but I've always had them and I've always loved them. So I'm gonna wear these. I feel like Birkenstocks are very Japanese. I know they're German, but I feel like Japanese people wear Birkenstocks. That could be wrong. And then I just got these. These are Havaianas and I got it in this bronze color. Very cute, fun, and 
they're gonna be very comfortable. Definitely gonna need these because we're going to beaches. And then just for a little switch up, I also brought my black Tevas. I don't think we're gonna be doing any hiking whatsoever, but if I want a little bit more support other than my flip flops, I have my Tevas. Lastly are my favorite black flip flops. Ding! Next, I'm gonna show you guys what's in this little netted slot here. Um, it's just some miscellaneous. I've got some nipple pasties that are good for those backless, strapless tops. And I've got these probiotics that are really useful for me because I have a pretty sensitive stomach. And these work for me really well when I'm abroad for some reason. Like they just kind of balance my gut health. I've got an extra pack of tissues and then I've got my contact lenses. Okay, my toiletry bag, I have a whole video on what's in my toiletry bag, so I'm really not gonna go into it. Um, but I did wanna show you guys a few things in this other toiletry bag, because I'm bringing two, which I never do. But because it's gonna be really sunny and hot, sun care is going to be like my number one priority for this trip. So a few examples of what I'm bringing, this Beauty of Chosan, SPF for my face and then this Heritage Store rose water spray which is going to be crucial for me. I'm going to keep it in my bag wherever I go because I know it'll feel so good when I just like spritz spritz when I need a little bit of refreshment. But some other things that I usually don't bring that I'm bringing. I'm bringing this matte sun stick by Beauty of Joseon as well. I am going to bring this with me everywhere because I know I'm going to need to reapply my sunscreen and this is just a really easy way to do it and I feel like as I get older now I need to make sure that my skin is good and that I don't get any more sunspots because I already have quite a few. I also have some mosquito spray I'm not really sure if we're gonna need it and then I've got this Badger's Reef Safe Mineral Sunscreen Cream SPF 40 for my body. Next for my hair because I know I'm gonna be getting into the ocean I'm gonna be using this Whey Leave-In Conditioner. And then I have my razor. And then I also, lastly, got this Sunbum Scalp and Hair Mist because I have a middle part and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it gets red, like my scalp in, after sun exposure. If you're gonna take care of the rest of your body, you don't wanna forget about your scalp. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep this with me at all times too, just to make sure that my scalp doesn't get sunburnt. So yes, these are all my sun care essentials that I usually don't bring, but I'm bringing this time. Lastly, this is my personal item when what I'm bringing on the plane. I'm going to be editing on the plane, so I did bring my laptop. I'm bringing two pairs of sunglasses, these really pretty translucent sunglasses, and then also these black ones that kind of go with everything. So just for a little bit of variety, I'm bringing two, but no more than that because I'm not trying to pack that much stuff. Ooh, this is another essential. My mini fan, my USB chargeable mini fan. I already have it charged up. It's gonna be so important in Asia, and I know a lot of people use that in Asia too, because it's just, it's too hot. I've got my medicine bag here. I've got all my jewelry here. I'm not gonna go through this entire bag of jewelry. I'm not bringing a bunch because I don't know, I realize that sometimes I overpack jewelry and I tend to always wear my favorite ones. But I have a good mix of gold and silver and they're all for the most part decent quality just because I wanna invest a little bit more in my jewelry now so that it lasts longer, especially if we're going to be in the ocean, by the beach, sweating. I don't want jewelry that will tarnish. I've got my inflatable neck pillow so I can sleep soundly on this, I think 16 hour flight going there. And there's a layover so it's actually longer. My passport, of course and my AirPods. And that is it for everything that I'm bringing. I'm going to be vlogging this trip. I'm super excited. I know I just made Asia sound really scary in the summer, but I hope that if you all get a chance, you guys still go, because it's so much fun and I am so excited. But yes, no matter where you are, no matter where you're going, or even if you're not traveling, you can make your own little hot girl summer aesthetic. It doesn't need to be the European aesthetic. That ain't the only aesthetic out there. I'm making this the Asian summer aesthetic. I'm gonna be a hot girl in Asia. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my vlogs and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.